Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Welcome along to the vlog. Well today's got a little bit of a different twist to it because it marks the beginning of what we're going to call the 4-4 can range of beers. Following our recent success with the launch of the Harrison's Brewery Vacant Gesture and Proof of Concept in can, we're going to try to provide a little bit more variation for the hardened follower of the channel. So we're going to endeavour to make four different beer styles each month which will go into can small batch on the pilot kit and be available for purchase online through the Harrison's Brewery website so last week I already brewed an amber ale which is over here in FV7 this is the first beer for the 4-4 can but I decided to brew it on the large kit I was geared up for a brew day but the pilot wasn't cleaned so I took a plunge and we've got it over there that gives the clients and the customers in the brew shed a little bit of variety so let's have a look at today's recipe it basically consists of a best bitter so whilst not considered a beer style associated with craft I've got it all written in the notes here the best bitter continues to remain one of the most popular beers consumed by drinkers, historically available in cask, keg, bottle and can alike. This beer has found itself at the centre of much deliberation on the best method of delivery to glass. With many commercial products available in can, they all tend to be directed at the often apathetic drinker and rarely do they appeal to the craft enthusiast. So the 4-4 can bitter challenges that conception and tries to bridge the gap between morose and exciting whilst trying to hold on to traditional flavour profiles. The beer is slightly hazy, or it will be due to the can conditioning, and expresses a greater hop aroma than most examples of the style. So this is not Tetley's or Boddington's, this is Harrison's. <laughs> How do you like that? Nice little description there. I've not even tasted it yet. I've done well. So the beer is going to consist of a Maris Otter base, which we already have in the mash tun, as you can see here. And then we're going to be adding uh, a fair percentage, I think around 10%. I'll double check that, folks. Of Cara 30, 7.2% of Cara 30. So the idea of this is to give it a bit more of a bready flavour, you know. So we're going to pop that in there. I'll just stick this over here. And then next we've got a combination of car Crystal 120, Crystal 400 and Black Malt. So the Black Malt's in there simply to adjust the colour a little bit without adding too much flavour. and. The 120 and 400 are there to add some toasty notes and some biscuity notes. So that combined with the Maris Otter, which should be quite a full flavored beer, should sit well as a traditional English bitter base recipe, in my opinion. So let's move on to maybe water treatment. So all the water in the brewery at the moment is being treated with AMS. I've got so many jugs over here, look I can't even do this bit. So the AMS is there to drop some of the alkalinity in the water. And then we also have my additions of calcium chloride and calcium sulphate going straight into the mash. So I'd highly advise that you guys figure out your own water chemistry. A couple of days to get your head around it, it might take, but in all it's generally worth it so if I just lift the lid on our hot liquor tank here we've got the AMS that's here so the AMS is here to reduce the alkalinity you can find more information about this on the Murphy and Sons website which is a company based in Nottingham who develop and manufacture and sell all these proprietary brands for brewing 
And then also to bring the pH down for mashing, we've got some lactic acid. So usually what I do on the big kit is because I have to top up the uh, I have to top up the water um, between the mash and the sparge so I add it separately there but what we're going to do here is we're going to be adding all seven millilitres of lactic acid to the water to bring the pH down and that should allow us to keep the sparge pH down but also the pH of our sparging water down as well and I'm using lactic acid because phosphoric acid precipitates calcium from your water at a pH of around 6 and then we're moving on swiftly to the hops so we're going to bitter today with 87 grams of challenger we've got that in there then we're going to go for a five minute addition of Goldings, 73 grams there, and you'll notice there's a Protoflock tablet in there as well. And then to give us that hop aroma that I discussed, we're gonna go with 97 grams of Bramling Cross in the dry hop after primary fermentation. So I'm gonna go ahead and dough in. We'll come back shortly, but just so you know, if you need a little bit of a time filler, hop over to harrisonsbrewery.com and you'll find the recipe there to purchase. So not only can you brew this beer yourself at home, oh, the recipe's free actually, but you can make a donation if you so desire. Uh, so not only can you brew this beer for free at home, if you're one of the lucky few who gets in there quick enough when it's released, you'll be able to try the beer as well in can. Target 67. Recirculating at 66 and a half ish. If it drops any more than that, I'll hook it up to the HLT Herms coil. We've got the beer nicely in there, the mash is on. I'm just grabbing some readings. That's the pH of the raw liquor 7.68. Then um, our strike water really dropped in terms of pH to 4.9 and we've got a mash pH sample just on the go over there so we'll have a look at that in a minute and see if we're at about 5.2 which I'm guessing we will be and because that's where we want to be Hey up folks, we're coming into a screeching interjection here. Excuse me while I just uh, mix my base gravy. Didn't expect to see my face, did you, in the middle of that bit of footage? Well, I'm editing it, I'm watching it back, and we're about a month after I shot that actual piece to camera. And it turns out, sorry I can see Gemma coming back from the shops. It turns out that I made a massive mistake with adding 70 ml of lactic acid instead of 7 to the HLT which meant that uh, the mash temps weren't far off, it was a little bit low on them but uh, the beer itself was yeah on the um, on the low side for the pH scale so I've kind of cut the video there there's going to be a shot of some chickens eating a bit of grain which is always a nice thing to see uh, but I thought, well, while I've got your attention for a moment, I will actually, let me turn up, I can hear the bloody radio. I will explain why there's been no videos for the past month. There are a couple more old videos coming out. 
if I manage to piece together the footage but other than that we're going to start shooting some new stuff um, fresh start and all and a lot of this 4-4 can is ready to go onto the site just about I'm waiting on labels as soon as labels are in bingo bango we're going to have some beers on there but they ain't going to be the beers that I promised you because that bitter for instance kind of didn't work because of my mistake but I will make the recipe available anyway god take a breath Harry talk about rambling on so let me flip the camera look at that that's none other than Reginald and if you are indeed a regular viewer of the vlog you'll notice that where that cheeky little puppy is laid that the floor is different and the skirting board's different and there's a door missing in this uh, little pantry area and look a oh, new skirting board there and uh, yeah new cooker and all this laminated flooring that we've done new door all of this has changed in the house considerably simply because of COVID-19 so I have been extremely busy because uh, Gemma and I were meant to be uh, getting a mortgage to buy this place because we rent it and that was going to be the start of us moving on to greener pastures you might say I'm just cooking a little bit of base gravy here folks waiting on onions to be delivered so I may as well stir this while I'm talking to you so because of the COVID-19 situation we ended up uh, in less than ideal circumstances that means that we decided not to go through on the mortgage right away just in case just in case so it's all on hold and because it's on hold that meant that we had to live in this house for just a little bit longer Reginald isn't that right so because we're gonna have to stay here a little bit longer than we wanted to we were gonna buy the move by the way in case you're thinking hold on a minute I thought you said you're gonna buy it why are you now talking about moving out we were going to buy it because it's a council house and we were going to take the discount that you get from being a council tenant to contribute towards us moving into a house with an extra bedroom this only has two and we have two kids a boy and a girl so of course yes anyway you don't need to hear my life story that's the crack so we need to get out of here it's on hold Reg can you hear Gemma coming out? she's on her way oh he's buggered off and uh, yeah all that's on hold and of course we're going to have to stop here a bit longer so I thought well we'll make the house livable to a degree and I've been busy doing all this stuff so we we can live in um, well, a, a, a mediocre step up from living in squalor because before it was, um, well, we didn't do a lot to the place and it's about time things changed. Hello. Hi. So there's a bit of a brief explanation as Gemma kind of, I wouldn't say crashes the video, but you know, I'm sure everyone will be pleased to see her for a little bit. And of course, um, at the same time we've had to brew beer, we've had to uh, do some alterations to the pub, we've had to entertain some uh, new, I hope, regular patrons. Martin came over as well, and Charlotte. I did say on the line the other day that Charlotte's Martin's wife. I don't think they're married, but it's an easy mistake to make. And uh, yeah, we've been busy doing all of the regular and normal things that we always do at Harrison's Brewery in the Brew Shed. Uh, but this is why the videos haven't come out this month as quick as we might have anticipated. Last month was busy as well. Blah, anyway, seems to be a chain of events here that kind of uh, have got in the way of YouTube. But here is a video today. And unfortunately for you guys, it has cut in half a video of a brew day. But uh, you know what I'm like, I have to be honest with what's gone on. This beer is not going to make it 
uh, onto the website for sale. It's actually in can at the minute, but the best bit ain't going to be sold. I'll give a few away to the first kind of 100 people who get an order in. I'll chuck a free can of this best bitter in, whatever. But other than that, we do have some other beers that are ready to go on there. We've got the Coconut Shy going into can. We've got the Plum Porter going into can and some others as well. So just stick around. We are going to put some more videos up. But wow, everyone knows, don't they? It's a bit crazy at the minute. And YouTube, unfortunately, has dropped a little bit down in terms of priorities but I'm sure sooner or later we'll be able to nudge it back up so thanks for sticking around as promised is a picture or a bit of a video clip of some chickens eating some grain and I'll see you on the next video I thank you very much Proud, man. <laughs>